Quick update before the video even starts. In case you're wondering, I am returning these but probably not for the reason that you think. Check out the unboxing and then I'll explain why in a little bit. All right, here are the Razer Hammerhead Hyperspeed for Xbox headphones. And I'm not gonna use them with Xbox, I'm gonna use them on PC. And I'm pretty sure that should work just fine. I think they do a poor job of marketing these because it seems like it's Xbox only based on the big Xbox level. I mean, you should, most things that are Xbox do work on PC, but it'd be nice to clarify a little bit better. In addition, Razer has a complicated set of Hammerhead products. I had Hammerhead before. I didn't like them. I bought these Hammerhead True Wireless X, but they're not the same as these Hyperspeed. Funny enough, before I was even done editing this video, Razer already released another product with similar name, Razer Hammerhead Pro Hyperspeed. And I believe it's pretty much the same thing, just with better branding and not the Xbox button, because it says PC, PlayStation, smartphone, or handheld, but it doesn't say Xbox. So I'm assuming this is basically the same thing as the ones I have in this video, except for there's not a switch right here to switch it from Xbox to PC. Probably just it was confusing labeling as such. Uh, but people thought that since it said Xbox, and even these were wireless charging. I don't think Mountain were wireless charging. Spoiler, I already returned them. But you can tell they just came out. This is Amazon's page. See that they were just released May 30th, 2023. So I believe there's no difference between these and the ones I already have, except for, like I said, that's not green here and it doesn't have an Xbox button. So it's probably people were thinking the ones that said Xbox in the name were only available to use with the Xbox seats here with the green. I think these are basically the same thing, but they changed the name to Pro, got rid of the green, and got rid of this little switch from Xbox. No, well, actually they'll say 5.3 and this is 5.2, so maybe there are some improvements, but this is odd because these with the green aren't very old, and then you know, these are brand new. So maybe they're slightly better than the ones I have, but I don't know. It's just odd. Razer does some weird stuff sometimes. So let's take a look at these. The big sale, of course, they should have this USB-C dongle. All right, and let's pop this bad boy open. All right, pretty standard Razer packaging. So in here we have two extra boxes and pretty classic razor paperwork. And I'm sure there's some stickers in here, which I don't use. So in here, we have just a USB-A to USB-C. It's just a charging cable, but it's nice and braided. I got a ton of these around, and these will be some extra tips. I'll give you a tip. <laughs> Doors are hard. For your ear, and that'll be all that's in there. And here's where the money is. The razor dongle, USB-C female to USB-A plug here. But this guy's doing all the work. And then here is a switch to change it from Xbox to USB-C. And then let's look at the buds themselves. Before I get to that, let's get right into one thing off the bat. This is funny. My buddy Tony and I all my friends are losers. talk about this. He has the same headphones, these Razer. And again, this is like the third or fourth Razer hammerhead they've made. And they all look pretty similar, but they're all slightly different. So this is the non-USB one, and this is the one with the USB dongle. This is all black inside, and this is all green inside. And these are kind of hard to get out. It doesn't seem like it. They have like this big fat butt on the back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And then like the original AirPod kind of styling. Whereas these, the Hammerhead Hyperspeeds, slightly easier to get out. And they have this little, you know, ear nub guy in there. And I don't normally like that. So let's just try pairing them with my phone. I hear the Hyperspeed. I got a pairing connection. So they are connected. You can see they do light up, which is completely pointless in my opinion. But, you know, maybe you like it, but I mean, you can't even see it. I mean, it's cool looking at it, but let me just try these just straight up. They just sound good. I don't love how that feel on any of these kind of headphones. Right? I just don't like them. Maybe I'll try a smaller size on one. So let's take this off. You can tell it's pretty clear. There's three different sizes. I'm gonna try the smaller size. They kind of just pop on pretty easily. It's hard to see that, but they work well. All right, that does feel better. It's weird on the left, I have the medium one on and it feels fine. On the right, I put the smaller one on and it feels fun. All right, and now let's take a look and see if the Razer Audio app works. So let's search for them and it finds it right off the bat. So let's connect those. All right, so it connected, I guess. I didn't hear any noises. <laughs> so it's still in the chroma spectrum effect. So you can see that and let's just turn it off. All right, and the lights go off. That probably helps save some battery. So that's pretty good. So there are a couple different settings there. You can change your button press, which is nice. That's nice. They do sound very good. Now I'm interested to see how this dongle works. So let me get my laptop out. You know, this is obviously not a gaming laptop, but I'm gonna use the Dell XPS 9710 just because that's what I can bring over here at the moment. Really, I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens. So I'm gonna turn it to USB. There's a little switch there. And we're just gonna plug it right on in and see if anything happens. I do have Synapse here, so let's go ahead and start Synapse and see if it connects to Synapse or not. I'm gonna put one in my ear so I can hear it. So far, nothing. It doesn't even seem to recognize it here either. Let me try to use them this USB A to C dongle. See if that makes any difference. It made a noise and it does appear to be installing something. So maybe you have to use that 
USB-A to C dongle or the cord. It does sound pretty good. So now when Synapse is launching, all right, it does show it here. Okay, so they are working in my ear. So they don't show up in Synapse, but they do show up as a USB audio device right here. All right, I'll have to test them out with gaming, check them out, so more to come. All right, so as I said in the beginning of the video, I am gonna return these, but again, not for you think. They work perfectly fine. So one weird quirk, if you plug this directly into the computer, it doesn't work. You have to use this cable for some reason, but that's fine because I'd be plugged into a desktop and it wouldn't be a big issue. Again, I did not use it with an Xbox nor was that my intention. I was only planning on using it with the desktop PC. As far as low latency audio with the PC, it worked perfectly fine. No qualms whatsoever. I also have the Logitech G Fits and there's no discernible difference between the latency with the G Fits and the Razer. The, you know, the Logitech dongle is this little light speed thing. Other than being a more compact package, not having to use this cable, but again, to the desktop PC, it doesn't really matter. Audio quality, again, perfectly fine. No real qualms there. It just so happens since I already have these and they get very personal preference. I like the audio quality of the G Fit better than the Razors. The Razors are very comfortable, very distinctly different feel. You know, this is a big molded ear tip and these are just these little guys that go in your ear hole, which I typically do not like. Comfort wise, very comfortable, no qualms there either. Even though I don't love the in-ear hole feeling, these are kind of more oblong. At least it feels that way to me, but I didn't notice it being problematic in my ear, where sometimes they bother me like these Amazon ones, which I think sound pretty good. They're more rounded and they go more in your ear hole, I feel like. And they're not latency, of course. The old Razer ones, you know, fit similar to the original AirPods, where they're just kind of, you know, that odd shape there. So you get an idea of my personal preference. The most comfortable headphones of all time, no question, are these Samsung Beans. They're by far the best kind of earbud for comfort. Second to that would be the Bose earbuds, which they don't even make anymore. Yeah, these would be the next most comfortable after the beans. Following that, the Razor is pretty close, I would think. But again, that's never here nor there. That's all personal preference. What is not personal preference is functionality of the device. Ideally, these should work on the computer with the dongle and then through the app through Bluetooth. So 2.4 gigahertz with the dongle and then Bluetooth to the phone. That's where the problem lies. So there's a Razer app. Those are the wireless X. Those are not the ones. These are the wireless X Xbox ones. So I open them up. The dongle obviously is not plugged into anything. We try to find that. We can go see my known devices. So this is the Xbox edition. I try to connect them and more often than not, they do not connect. And that is the problem I have with see, It just won't connect. But guess what? They are connected. So they are connected, but the app won't recognize them. Now it does. All right, so that's stupid. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so it worked now. Again, your experience could be different, but for me, it has not worked great. The app has not worked historically well. The Bluetooth connection goes away quite frequently. And as I was trying to make this quick video, it apparently is working. You're just gonna take my word for it. They didn't work most of the time that I had these. With the dongle, worked every time perfect, no question. On the computer, or you can even plug the dongle directly into your phone. So like if you hit the volume up, uh, let's say if I play some media, you're not gonna hear because it's going through the headphones. But if I hit the volume up, you see now it has the sort of earbuds icon. That's because the dongle's in there. If I unplug the dongle, it goes to Bluetooth and you can see it's the Bluetooth icon. And there is a noticeable difference in sound quality if you plug this directly into it, but I'm not gonna be plugging the dongle to my phone. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, actually I know why it's working because this is not plugged into my computer. Let me plug this in my computer. You're not gonna see it. I'm not gonna move the camera over. So now these are plugged into my computer. Let's put these back in the case. That's what it is. All right, sorry. Now they're not connected. The dongle is plugged into my computer, taking them out. And on my computer, it does show connected to the hammerheads and here connected to the hammerhead. All right, so now let's go to the app. You can see they are connected via Bluetooth, but the app generally doesn't work well when the dongle's plugged into your computer. And if you were to have these, for the most part, they would be plugged into your computer. I have these shocks guys I use for my work calls and on a different computer, there's a USB dongle plugged in and it will take a work call, but if my phone rings, it then lets the audio. So that's why you want them connected at the same time so you can get the audio from here, but it doesn't work very well. Need me cancel and go to your known devices and hit connect, then it just doesn't do anything. The app is problematic. There we go. This is the app that I know and don't love. <laughs> I was annoyed that it wasn't showing the drama I've been having. So that's what it was. If it's not plugged in, they work perfectly fine as Bluetooth headphones. And the sound quality is fine. Personally, I still prefer, again, comfort and sound quality wise, I prefer the Beans. If I do use a Samsung phone, you can just EQ a little bit more that way. There we go. So now they want, this is what I'm talking about. And it is connected via Bluetooth. Just the app won't connect. And you can't adjust any settings unless you're using the app. So, and on my computer, I'm not playing any music. And actually, I don't even have the, 
2.4 gigahertz as the proper audio source. I have it set to my THX Onyx, which is a different Razer product. So again, this app kind of sucks and the Bluetooth connection kind of sucks. It doesn't disconnect necessarily, but it won't reconnect all the time. And that's the biggest problem I have. But to be fair to Razer, again, I don't hate Razer products. I have a lot of Razer products and I actually like, I don't mind Synapse at all. This is not Synapse, this is just an app. We connect this to the computer with the dongle, it doesn't go to Synapse, which is kind of annoying. But as I said, I have these Logitech G Fits as well. They have pretty much the same problem. So now I don't have the dongle connected. Let me go to the G Fits app. This may even be worse than the Razer. This, they almost never connect to my phone. They did like the initial setup and then they basically don't work. So now it is working. I think I apparently just got to record it and say that. Uh, but now the dongle is not plugged in. So let me try plugging this dongle into my computer and see if we get a problem now. Now open it back up. I'm not showing you my computer, but it does show the audio input on my computer. So it is connected. Interesting. You're supposed to do a triple tap to switch between devices. Well, let me try playing some audio on my computer. I don't know why it's working in this video, it's super annoying, but he's gonna take my word for this. So in my experience, the Razer and the G-Fits, they both work great with a dongle for the computer, both low latency, playing fast-paced games like Fortnite, no problems at all. The biggest problem I have is the dual connection between the phone and the computer at the same time and the audio switching back and forth doesn't work well, but they both have that same problem. Razer has a much shorter return window, which is annoying, like 14 days. So I gotta send them back. That's why I can't refilm this when it's gonna play nice on camera for me. And two, personal preference i prefer the audio quality of the g fits over the razer earbuds but again i still greatly prefer pretty much every other bud i have over the g fits i would much rather listen to these amazon echoes the samsung beans or the bose earbuds that I don't make it anymore so again just straight up audio quality the bose or the samsung are going to be the best but they will have latency on a computer the bose are terrible on a computer actually they don't even connect very well the best latency for the computer will be either the razer or the g fits but audio quality and just general comfort. Again, personal preference, but for me, I prefer the G Fits. All right, so again, if you're gonna buy these, buy these just for the low latency. They're not super great. It's just Bluetooth earbuds in my opinion. All right, thanks. All right, lately been like less than a minute lately. I have audio playing on the computer now and the earbuds are not connected. You should be able to triple temp and go back and say it doesn't work. They make a little beep in my ear when I do that, but nothing switch in my ear. It makes various random beeps when you do that, but it doesn't switch back and forth. And even here, if I try to connect it here, they don't connect. So the blue Bluetooth on the Jeep, it's way worse than the Razer. Now these could be a defective pair. I have opened the ticket with Logitech support, so they could even be worse, but the Bluetooth functionality of the Jeep, it's it's way, way worse than the Razer. The Razer at least will work at Bluetooth headphones. They just don't switch well between the devices. This is why I would, this is how I would want to work. And yet, Super short return window. I bought these directly from Razer, so a very short return window. Hopefully they make a newer version with a better connection. I don't know. Basically, I don't dislike them, but I'm not keeping them. Our terminal's running up and I don't have faith that I might use these enough. Also, I had the wrong box in that video. I was showing this box, but this is the one I was talking about, the one with the dongle. This would be terrible for gaming on your computer. You have to have the dongle. These are the ones I'm returning. These were much less expensive and I'm way, way past my return window, but these still my return window and much more expensive. So I'm gonna return them.